All right, well, it's the start of a new month, and that means we have a fresh batch of stats to look at on our real estate market here in Airdrie, Alberta. And this month, we're gonna change up the format a little bit and talk about the different styles of homes a bit more than the price ranges that we've done in the past few months. So whether you're interested in the detached market, semi-detached homes, townhouses, or the apartments, there should be something for you in this market update. And be sure to stick around to the end because now that the first quarter of 2024 is over, we're gonna look at how our market is stacking up to my 2024 predictions that I made at the start of the year. And I can tell you now that some of the predictions look good so far, but one of them I was way off on at this point, but you're gonna see more towards that at the end of the video. All right, well, let's pull up the Airdrie market graphic and let's get into some numbers. So as you can see here, we had 203 sales in March, which is a big jump over the 135 we saw in February. Now, of course, going from February to March, there's typically a big increase, so that's nothing new. But the biggest thing I took at from here is how much of a jump it really was. From our 135 sales in February, that's a 50% jump in sales month to month, compared to the 10 year average where we typically see a 29% increase from February to March. So definitely a bigger than usual jump in sales. So let's take a look at what the rest of our numbers are doing here in Airdrie this month. Now for new listings, we saw 218 new properties come to the market in March. Now this is only a 19% increase over the 182 we had in February. So here you can see that we had a huge jump in sales, but a much smaller jump in the new listings. Now this one is actually much closer to in line with that 10 year average stat, which shows us that we typically see a 16% rise in new listings from February to March, so just a few percent higher than that this year. So knowing all that, big jump in the sales, average rise in the new listings, what did that do to our inventory levels here in Airdrie? Well, to start April, one of the key months to start our spring summer moving season, we have 162 active listings here in Airdrie. Now, this is only up by just two properties over the 160 listings that we had to start March with. So this is the stat that really stuck out to me in this month, because that's only a 1% increase in our inventory from the start of March to the start of April at a time that we're usually seeing inventory going up heading into that spring and summer seasons. Now again, I'm gonna use our 10 year average to help paint the picture here. Our 10 year average inventory jump from the start of March to the start of April is 12.8%. And this year we have just 1% increase. So after seeing the sales, new listings and inventory, the next number that we need to look at and the one that ties them all together is our month supply. And the month supply basically just says how long it would take to sell out of our inventory if no new listings came to market. And it's a pretty good stat to show us the general state of the market in just one number. So basically anything under two months of supply in our market is a seller's market. Between two to four months would be a more balanced market and above four months or so and you're gonna be getting into a buyer's market. So right now our market as a whole for Airdrie, including all styles of properties, we have just 0.8 months of supply. So less than one month supply which puts us in the extreme seller's market territory. Now, of course, this is our whole market and that's why I wanna go deeper into the styles of homes this month to give us a better indication of where is the most active and maybe where it isn't as strong of a market right now here in Airdrie. But before we do that, the last thing I wanna look at for Airdrie overall is our benchmark price. And we saw another benchmark price increase of 2% in the last month, giving us an overall benchmark price in Airdrie right now of $540,400. All right, so we know the general Airdrie stats now, so let's go into the styles of homes to see how the market's acting in each segment of our market. So let's start first with our semi-detached or duplexes here in Airdrie. Now we don't have a ton of activity in this segment, so that's why I'm gonna start with it and we can move on to the more popular styles after. And if you're not very interested in the duplex stats, this would be a great time to scroll down give this video a like, little things like that really help me get these market updates in front of other homeowners here in our city who want to know about the market. So that would be excellent if you could do that for me. But now, onto our duplexes. We had 11 sales in March, which is actually down 
one compared to the 12 sales that we had in February. And we also had 15 new listings within the month. So this gave us an active inventory of 13 semi-detached properties, which actually puts this category out of the extreme seller's market territory and more into a regular seller's market with 1.18 months of supply. Now keep in mind with this style, since there's less data on these duplexes, these numbers tend to fluctuate a lot more than we see in the other styles of homes. But nonetheless, we did see a benchmark price increase for duplexes by 2.7% in the last month, now at a benchmark price of $498,700. And now moving on to our detached homes, which typically make up for around half of our sales here in Airdrie right now. This has been coming down a bit the last few years as more townhouses get built. So here we saw 106 sales in March, which is up 29% over February's 82 sales. Now keep in mind our overall 10 year average for sales increase from February to March is 29%. So our detached product right now is right in line with that 10 year average increase between those two months. Now looking at the other numbers, we had 115 new detached listings here in Airdrie in March, which gave us an active inventory of 101 listings to start April with. So unlike the semi-detached homes, this does put the detached market into that extreme seller's market range with a month supply of 0.95 months, so just under that one month mark. And with that, in March, we saw the average sale price for detached homes tick just slightly over 100% of the list price, with the average sale price being 100.3% of the list price for the month. So as you'd expect, this means that our prices did go up in this detached segment too, up 2.5% in just the last month for those detached homes, now with a benchmark price of $636,500. So now let's take a look at our townhomes. Here we saw 60 sales in March, which is double the sales that we saw in February where we had 30 sales. So we had a 100% increase in our sales for March over February this year, so big increase going into the spring here. And we also saw 63 new listings, which left us with an inventory of just 32 active listings to start April with in the townhouse market here in Airdrie. So that leaves us with just 0.53 months of supply, basically just two weeks of supply for our townhouses right now. So with these market conditions, of course prices are gonna go up. And here we saw a month to month price increase of 1.2%, now up to a benchmark price of $366,000. And lastly, let's take a look at our apartment style condo market. Here we had 26 sales in March, which is again over a 100% increase from our February sales where we saw just 11 of these condos sell. And we had 25 new listings within the month, which actually left us with just 17 active condo listings to start April with, and that gives the condo market just 0.62 months of supply right now, making it the second strongest segment of the market next to those townhomes. And as for prices on those condos, we saw a 2.1% increase in our benchmark price month to month, which now gives Airdrie condos a benchmark price of $284,900. So looking at all that, the condos and townhomes continue to be very strong in our market, but the detached homes are still right there and picking up steam into the spring market. So now we know the numbers, but what does it mean for you? Well, that is pretty tricky to say over a video like this because rising prices can be good for some people, not good for others, depending on your situation. Say if you have an investment property that you may wanna cash out of, could be a good time now to sell that and get your equity out of it. But on the flip side, there still could be some more room for that price to move up even more before selling. Or if you're a first time buyer, you may wanna get into the market before prices go up more, but you may be hesitant because you think interest rates are gonna be coming down soon, which it looks like they will. Or if you currently live in a townhome or condo and you wanna to upgrade to a detached home, then it could be a great time to do that because the condo and townhouse market still is a little bit stronger than our detached market. Ultimately, what I'm saying is your situation is completely unique to you and only in you, and it should be treated as such. So knowing that, no matter what your situation is or how far out your timeline is, I'd love to have a conversation with you to help you make a plan that works for you and your situation. So reach out to me however is best for you, email, call, or text, and we can start putting together a plan, whether you're two weeks away from making a move or two years. All right, well, as I mentioned earlier, now that the first quarter of 2024 is behind us, 
I wanted to reference back to my 2024 predictions video to see where we're at here in 2024 and how things are going. So the two best points we can reference from that video at this point in the year will be my price prediction and my sales prediction because we can both prorate those to where we're at in the year right now. So for prices, let's take a look back at what I had predicted for 2024. Well, the way our activity seems to be headed right now, I think we're looking at more increases here this year. I'm expecting that we see overall prices move up 8% in 2024 here in Airdrie, with most of the increases coming in the first six to eight months of the year, and then remaining fairly flat for the last four to six months of 2024. All right, so I had predicted 8% increase in prices in 2024, with most of that price increase happening in the first six to eight months of the year. So as it stands right now, overall in 2024, we've seen a 3.5% price increase in the first three months of the year, overall in Airdrie, which puts us about on pace to see 7 to 8% by the time summertime hits this year. So if we break that down into the segments too, we can see the differences in our styles of homes for Q1. So overall, we've seen that 3.5% increase, but for detached homes, they're actually up 4.2% so far this year. Semi-detached are also up 4.2%. Townhomes are up 1.7% and our apartments are up 5.6% so far this year. So for the price prediction that I made, so far we're fairly on pace to hit that about 8%. Now let's take a look at our sales predictions for 2024. So for sales, I'm expecting an increase of about 10% over 2023, which would give us about 2,050 sales within the year here in Airdrie. So you can see that I was predicting that we'd see 10% more sales in 2024 than we had in 2023. So let's take a look at our overall sales first, and then we're gonna break it down into the styles again. So overall, in the first quarter of 2023, we had 337 sales. For Q1 here in 2024, we've already had 442 sales. So that's actually an increase in sales so far this year of 31% over last year. For detached homes, sales are up 55%. Semi-detached sales are actually down 32%. Townhome sales are up 29% this year and apartment sales are up 11% this year so far. So right now, my sales prediction is way off, but there's still time for that to straighten out before the end of the year, but that would require us getting less sales than 2023 from this point forward, which just doesn't look like it's gonna happen. We're just gonna have to wait and see. All right, well, that does it for our market update for Airdrie this month. If you have any questions at all about our market, please put them down in the comments below. Since it's a public comment section, you might have questions that others have as well. So it's good for everyone to see those comments when we're having those conversations down below. And also, if you wanna receive the neighborhood market update for your specific neighborhood in Airdrie, including all the sales data, link is below, you can sign up, let me know which neighborhood you want that monthly report for, I'd be more than happy to get that sent off to you. My name is Brad Walker. I'm a local Airdrie, Alberta realtor with Redline and Real Broker. I hope you learned something about our market today and we'll see you in the next video.